<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. I just have one question for you, buddy. Why are you not married? Uh, ask me again. I'm not married. I'm not married because uh, you know, buying buying a little bit cheaper these days. I mean, out here, especially for me, women out here, they want the Birkin bags. They want to eat like three times a day. Fuck, right? They want to go out places, and then they don't want to go like regular places. They want to go to all expensive ass places, right? They want to go to the expensive places, movies, and you know, first class tickets to shit. They want to go on vacation, right? And if you don't look good, they they want to like pretend that they got the shit themselves, you know? So there's a lot of things that come with, you know, when I can just pay like 200, 250. <laughs> get, right to, get right to the good stuff. Why are you not married? Bye, Felicia. The fuck I want to get married for and do all this extra shit? Buy a house and we got to buy you a car. I got to call you on gas money because most likely you ain't going to have a job. Yo, broke ass. No, 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 no. I'll just rather pay the 250, 350, 450, whatever it is at that point. It's, it's going to be a lot cheaper. I what? is going on jets it's rpm here reporting from mobile command that video that gilbert arenas put out that short little tiktok about how it's easier just to pay for play and how so many normie men are finally catching on to that i find it utterly hilarious but it also shows you just how truly behind the normies really are. Now, I myself have been talking about pay for play is better for years. And of course, I have proof. I have a receipt. Now, I put out a video back in 2018 called The Brutal Truth Is All Men Pay. Now, back in 2018, nobody wanted to have that conversation. Why? Because at that point, you still had a lot of PUAs. You still had a lot of game coaches and all that stuff. So, of course, the typical mentality was, oh, man, any man that pays for Poon, oh, he's a loser. Blah, 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 blah. But I stuck to my guns. As a married man, I figured it out. I say, you know what? More and more men are actually paying, but as long as they have that sense of pride and ego, they refuse to see the truth. And that was when I came up with the acronym ATM, Attention, Time, Money. And of course, CGA evolved it into meat, money, energy, attention, time. But all in all, yeah, I was having this conversation about pay for play long before the normies ever thought that it would come to pass. However, here we are. Now, if you've been looking around New York, there have been a lot of articles coming out about how, you know, professionals are literally taking over and operating open air brothels. Now, gentlemen, I am a firm proponent for pay for play. However, the way that they're doing it, I'm not too keen on that. No. Why? Because there's too many gray areas far too many now i want to focus on an article that was published on the 7th of august hookers let's call them professionals or should i say bottom tier professionals invade new york the scourges even worse than you thought in the latest evidence of the city's rapidly declining quality of life. <laughs> wow. Wow. Rapidly declining 
No, 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 no. The quality of life in New York is at the bottom of the sewers. The open air prostitution in Queens, the Post reported, appears to be hitting other neighborhoods too. With efforts by Mayor Eric Adams and the NYPD so far seeming to have little effect. You know why? Because they're focused on the wrong people. As long as they keep focusing on the men and saying, oh, if men didn't want this, then these women wouldn't be doing this. No, 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 no. The desire is always going to be there. However, in my humble opinion, they should always do this in a way that both the worker and the John are safe. Therefore, I've always said this when it comes to this topic, legal brothels. That way you can take the criminal element out of it. Last month, the Post cited a thriving illicit sex market in Corona, Queens. Now, another report finds the virus has spread to East New York, Brooklyn, where the workers struck their stuff along Sheffield Avenue, hawking early morning happy time. Landlords can't even get rid of the brothel operators in court. That's another interesting article that I might or might not actually take a dive into. But yeah, in the old bad days, crooked cops were bribed to look the other way. And yeah, sometimes the cops actually had partaken of said services. Today, Legislators have watered down the laws and district attorneys won't prosecute. There you go. They refuse to prosecute the people who are actually behind the workers. But of course, typical, you got to focus on the men, the men who just want to pay their hard earned money for a little happy time. Sonia Osario executive director of the National Organization of Women, NYC, a progressive, says cops are quote unquote, not incentivized to enforce anything because it won't be prosecuted by lenient district attorneys. It's not only DAs, progressive lawmakers, outrageous tolerance for disorder has fueled everything from fair evasion to public urination to shoplifting and now pay for play throughout the city. In regards to pay for play, a consenting adult on both sides, a fair exchange between two consenting adults is no robbery. However, however, when it comes to the modern Western woman, what they want to do is practice highway robbery. Every time a woman says a man needs to make a certain amount of money, guess what? At that point, she is, in fact, committing highway robbery. Ladies, your cooch is not that valuable period, point blank. Now, of course, a younger, hotter model, yeah, she can call a, a better price. But so far as a lot of these old bags out here, oh, no, 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 no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Responding to the Post's report on Queen's so-called market of sweethearts. <laughs> now, that is hilarious. Adams claimed City Hall was quote unquote, putting in place an operation to deal with the spicy workers, but offered no details. Yeah, right. A task force 
I don't think so. He acknowledged that quote unquote, spicy work is not a victimless crime and has expressed his opposition to legalization. Why? Why not legalize it? If it's legalized and put into a controlled environment, guess what? It's safer for everyone. But of course, of course, we know women are more expensive than men. And in the long run, the women who do partake of this, no man is actually going to hitch his wagon to that woman. So therefore, of course, the government cannot properly tax it. So therefore, it has not been fully legalized. Once again, I'm all for legal controlled brothels. As long as it's put over in a certain area and the stigma is taken away, guess what? You're going to have a lot more people who probably wouldn't mind partaking of it. Meanwhile, even landlords can't do much about the scourge. Incho Chang, for example, has desperately tried to get the courts to help him oust brothel operators with little success. Chang's been documenting the activity in his building for months. But despite photos and video evidence, a Queens court permitted a Queens judge, excuse me, permitted one of the operators to remain in business while awaiting trial. Expect law enforcement's game of whack-a-mole to continue apace until Albany bolsters laws cracking down on pay-for-play and, of course, the typical go-to, human trafficking and Johns. Meanwhile, perhaps Adams and the NYPD should take Bob McManus's advice and reactivate vice squads or at least set up a task force targeting the brothel owners and assisting landlords to get rid of their buildings or excuse me, to rid their buildings of them. The rapid return to the bad old days needs to be stopped before it's too late. Um, it's already too late. It is truly too damn late. Hey, pay for play has gone mainstream. Now, of course, we got to thank Gilbert Arenas for actually putting it out the way the normies can actually digest it. And of course, yeah, more and more normie men are making videos saying, yep, you know what? Now that I actually think about it, pay for play is actually better than having a girlfriend or a wife. You get what you want. She gets what she wants. She gets paid. He gets laid. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. No drama, no bullshit, no nothing. You pay, you play, you go about your day. Hey, it's a perfect damn recipe. And besides, I've always said this. When it comes to the men here in America, a lot of men simply want validation. And men, unfortunately, are willing to pay for said validation or what they believe is the illusion of validation, especially when it comes to OnlyFans. I don't understand why guys are still paying for that. I truly don't. They should know by now any interaction is not with said woman. But, but we refuse to legalize pay for play. Put it into a certain environment where guys can go and they can get their validation. They're willing to pay for it. Now, of course, you've got the moral authoritarians saying, well, it's not real intimacy and blah, 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 blah. Here's the question that I would ask you. Are you getting real intimacy from a girlfriend? 
Are you getting real intimacy from a wife? No, you are not. You're not. Why? Because at any point in time in that relationship, that woman can decide, you know what? I'm going to cut off the sex bigot. Yeah, she can weaponize the box. And fellas, no matter what relationship you're in, girlfriend or wife, when she decides to turn sex into a reward slash punishment system, I'm all for you stepping out. If it's your girlfriend, dump that bitch on the spot. If it's your wife, hey, hire a pro or get a doll. <laughs> but yeah, far too many men have dropped out of society. Guess what? You want to get men to re-engage back into society? Guess what? Legalize pay for play. Legalize, put it into a safe and controlled environment. And I guarantee you, if men could go to work, earn their money, and then pay for a little happy time, yeah, you'd have a hell of a lot more men scrambling to get jobs. But guess what? Oh, no, 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 no. They still want to keep it, quote, unquote, illegal because of the moral authoritarians, which, let's be honest, they really don't care. They want to use the situation to try to make themselves feel good. Oh, yeah, I'm going to virtue signal by saying, oh, it's bad. No, 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 no. The dam has burst. More and more normie men have realized, yep, better to pay than to waste my time in a full-blown relationship where she can willingly take it away. Nah, the headache, the drama, it's just not worth it. So yeah, all in all, the brutal truth is, gentlemen, all men pay in some way, shape, or form if you want access to the box. It's here. It's mainstream. That genie is not going back into the bottle. So yeah, more and more men are going to adjust to the new environment. Hey, it is what it is. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Read the other articles connected to this article. Let me know what you guys think. And for you normie women out there who continue to believe that your box is the key to everything and controlling it is going to keep men in line, you have just found out thoroughly the power you like to say that your box has is definitely going out. Feminism and the idea that men were going to do anything in their power just to keep you in that box, that is definitely gone out right along with it. Because now more and more men have come to the conclusion, albeit as late as they have come to this conclusion, but better late than never. Yes, paying for the box is better than paying to keep you around. And more and more men will be going that route. So yeah, to you normie women out there, you got no chance. Your competition has now come in the form of the professional. Let the games begin. <laughs> That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am